have this one little stringy curl over here. Good afternoon. Um, let's get this up a little bit. So this is like take four. I tried to get, I don't even know what the name of them is. You know those little birds with the long beaks that walk really funny like they're dancing across the street? Well, I almost hit one just a minute ago. He was all by himself doing his little dance and he just blended in with the dirt. And uh, I didn't even know they were from around here. So I tried to get a video, which cut off the video I was making because I'm headed this way and I got, I don't know how to turn it around while it's going. Um, so I stopped the video, I got out of the car and I swear I was looking at it through the viewfinder or through the screen, whatever you want to call it. And I was watching myself do this video of this little bird going across the road, doing his little, his little dance thing across the road. And I was trying to keep blue from climbing out the door because I was sitting in the door. I didn't want to scare the bird. I didn't want to get out. And Blue's trying to shove his little butt through the door, or his head, not his butt. Um, I can't get rid of this hair. It's driving me crazy. I'm going to wrap it around here. Um, and so, I thought I got it anyways, even while I'm holding on to Blue's ear, trying to keep him in the car. And I go to see, and it's nowhere to be found. So I tried to get another one. I got out of the car, but he was already up in the woods and they, you know, blend really well. Most birds do. Animals, they try to blend. Um, or they're made to blend. However that works. And uh, so no go. And I'll probably never see one again. I might. You never know. Uh, but yeah, it was really cool. I've seen them on other videos. I don't even know what they are. They do the little, they're like a sandpiper looking bird. Anyways, I just sound stupid because I don't know what I'm talking about. So I took the dogs out the other day in the Polaris because it was really nice out. So we went for a ride. And first we went down the end of our road and, and went down a little bit. And I came out, I came all the way out. Look at the burn, y'all. This is all burnt. This is where they had already logged and it burnt. And then up ahead is the burn. And they're logging. And I don't know, I don't know if they're logging the burn or they're logging around the burn. They tilled all this in right here. You can see, I heard somewhere that Jack Pines, the pine cones don't open up unless it's fire. So I guess they're probably hoping that that'll help the Jack Pines, even though it wasn't an intentional fire. Um, so I came down here around these corners where we turn into the right to go to Staley Lake. And I knew it was part, I knew they were logging back in there. I'm not exactly sure where. Way too much of it, if you ask me. Um, and I got to the corners. We had put some little pink flags out so I could find my way. Keith can find his way. I need a little help. Um, and I was very pleased that my flags were still there after the burn and everything. <laughs> and I came around a corner and boom, it was a big mound of dirt and trees and stuff had been put right in the place of the uh, trail. So they cut the trail off. It was intentional for sure. Um, and I don't know, I think there's another way through the back. Hopefully Keith can show me. But that was sad. I hope they have not cut us off from Staley Lake so we can't go down there. Because there's, I haven't done it yet, but there have been people in our neighborhood they go down there and stick a lawn chair in the lake and hang out. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, so that would be very sad if they have shut us off. So I'm going to the dump. Um, I got the time wrong. I was thinking it opened at 10. It doesn't open till 2. It is 12.44. I have to pick up some prescriptions. 
and I'm thinking maybe I'll get a hamburger. And I've been reading this book. And it's the second one. Jan Karen. Looks like K-A-R-O-N. And it's about a rector and his village. Somewhere, I'm thinking it's in the Virginia area. But, you know, it's, of course, made up anyways. A very good series. This is the second one in the series. But it's a very good series. You know, it's not... I like Stephen King, don't get me wrong, but, you know, my tastes have changed a little bit as I've gotten older, too. I, I like cleaner, I'd say, cleaner things. I, I'm the same way in movies. I don't, I have a hard time watching a movie. It's got to be pretty specific into something that I like. I watch Midsummer Murders. Um, I think that's a pretty good series. It's very lighthearted, you know. I, I like lighthearted things. Not necessarily goofy. I don't like goofy. So I'm very particular. So, you know, that's my own fault. And I think I've watched every doc documentary that's free out there in the world. So I've kind of run out of things. Um, but you know what? I need to get my butt outside and work more anyways, right? See? Let me turn you around, oh, let me turn you around for a second. This is what they do when they don't want you to go somewhere. And this has all been logged recently. And it just looks terrible. It looks terrible. And it's everywhere. I mean, not only do we have like 6,000 acres burn. Uh, and see, this is where it isn't burned. And it's only that tall. They have just about chopped down every big tree out here since we've lived here. Every little, every big section of forest is just about gone and we're down to the little ones it's sad <laughs> i should have got more i guess more videos of big forest out here while it was still here i used to turn these corners and there would be a big stand of forest and now i turn these corners and there's nothing there he is I was trying, to, I gave him some whipped cream the other day, and he's got this little spot on his nose. I thought it was whipped cream for like three days, but it's just another little spot on his nose that Apollo got, got him with a little snarl and a snap. He doesn't understand that at all. He just has love in his heart. He doesn't understand why Apollo doesn't just love him back. Um, so it's Tuesday. Keith is on his way home. He got to Tyler, Texas. He said that's about six hours. Oh, see? Let's see. Sorry. Right. I'm covering you up. I apologize for my awfulness. There you go. That's more and more and more. That'd be a lot of firewood for me. Can I put some in my trunk? I actually did pick up a couple little pieces yesterday. And I think I'll do that when I go riding around. I'll look for the little chunks that they throw away. Because I'll burn them up. It'll be good. Um, yeah, that's just more lighting there. Oh, so we got to Tyler, Texas, and the brakes locked up. So he had to stay in a not very nice motel. Luckily, he found a place in the small town that would work on it. They got, they thought they might be able to get it done by 5 o'clock yesterday. They got the wrong parts. It was calipers, uh, which is exactly what my dad said when I told him what happened. He said, it's an old car. All our cars are old cars. This is the newest car I have, y'all, 2009. Um, it's an old car. You know, they lock up, the rubber wears out, and then they lock up. So, they got the wrong parts the first time. He said, don't worry, we're gonna get them first thing in the morning, we'll get you going. So he stayed in the motel. Uh, they got the parts the next morning and they got, I wanna say two rights. I could be absolutely wrong, could have been two lefts. They got two of the same side and they hunted down another one and he is fixed and probably on the road by now. And that is just how it goes with car repairs. And that yellow car, it's a 2006 Dodge Charger. 
Uh, I just call it the yellow car. Um, it has been notorious for that when I take it somewhere. If, I, if you don't take it to a dealership, and dealerships are so expensive. Because um, it takes Mopar parts. So if you order parts from somewhere else, a lot of times they're wrong because it's a, it's got a sports package or something on it. It's a little bit of a, you know, hot rod, but just stock. It's just a stock hot rod. Uh, but yeah, when you order the parts, somehow they come just a little bit different. So almost every time I've had something done to it, they've had to redo. Anyways, he is on the road. He's rolling my windows. It is nice out. We're supposed to be getting some rain. I might go chop a little bit of firewood and have a fire tonight. Because I have used up all of that that I have done since last week. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of waiting. I didn't go to dad's today because of what's going on with Keith. I want to make sure. I think I want to make sure he gets home. And then I'll go to dad's. Maybe Friday or something. Me and Dad need to go to Big Boys. That's what we need to do. Um, that's about all I got, yo. Um, I've been reading, been doing my stuff, uh, going to the dump, made some quiches yesterday and some stir fry from the boys, and got praises from Ronald about the sauce. And it was a Dollar Tree teriyaki sauce. So, and I put a little sweet and sour in with it. And so that was happy because I thought it was thin you know it's just like soy sauce or something um, but he loved it so there you go that's my update for the last couple days you can't see the dogs oh there's blue there he is uh, they're being good boys I gave Apollo a bath in the bathtub yesterday to try to help with his healing and scratching and he seems to be on the other side of it it takes him always more than a month to recover from going down there. I don't know how he lived down there. That's crazy. And I'm almost to town, y'all, and I want you to have a wonderful day. Count your blessings, kiss your loved ones, hang out with some friends, do something fun. I'm gonna go to the senior center for dinner with my girlfriend, the one that has the chickens. Um, I asked her if she'd go with me. I said, I know this sounds kind of weird, but would you like to go to dinner at the senior center sometime? <laughs> and she said, sure. She's actually a little bit older than me, so her is only like four bucks. I'll treat her. Um, but I thought we'd go check it out. It's brand new, um, and we're almost there, you know? Okay. Uh, hold on just a sec. I'll show it to you. It's coming up right there where that white car is pulling in. That is our new senior center. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good day.